and have another process video for you using um, the Surf's Up kit that I made. So right now I'm choosing my um, papers, having a look at what I've got and going um, through them and deciding on a colour and a theme. Well the colour's pretty much chosen anyway but you know I've still got a, a fair bit of paper to choose from. So for this one um, our friend in the photo Bruno has got a yellow jumper and so I wanted to bring out the yellow in that photo so I'm using um, some yellow paper and that awesome um, banner paper from Bow Bunny that you can see as well that has lots of different colours of blue and, and turquoise on there and some black as well. So I've cut a strip of the yellow paper, I want to put that down on the bottom and then I'll trim that down to a 12 by 12 piece and then trim off a little strip of the yellow paper again and put that at the top. So the yellow paper was from the Basic Grey Highline collection and it's a yellow with little white plus symbols on it. So here I am trying to decide where I want that little navy blue spot, whether I actually want to use it as a mat or just as an accent underneath that um, piece of paper. And while I'm deciding, sometimes it's best just to distract yourself from what you're doing. And I've decided to cut out some little banners and I'll use them as embellishments on the page. So I'm looking at it while I'm cutting and trying to decide whether I want to add anything else, a little bit more colour or I want to leave it as is. So I do decide that I would like to mat that on the yellow and bring a little bit of that out again. And so just using my scissors to cut it up, it's quicker to grab the scissors and cut. I don't really care about having perfectly straight lines. My eyes are pretty good so most of the time I'm cutting it pretty straight but if I don't I don't mind. It's easier to, to do that than to pull out my trimmer and have to use that all the time. So I quite like using scissors to cut things rather than my trimmer which that hasn't always been the way. In the past there's no way I would have just cut things by hand. I would have had to have used my trimmer and had everything perfectly right but I've let go of that now and just enjoy the process and do what I feel like I want to do on the day. So there you see I've got a little sticker border sticker there and I tried to put that along the top but when I stuck it down realized it was about a 10 inch strip not a 12 inch strip so it didn't quite make it all the way to the end so what I did was just cut a little bit out of each end and no one can tell there's a gap in the middle because that's where the photo mat's going to go anyway. So to the eye it looks like I have stuck a whole strip but you and I know that there's actually a gap underneath. So that's a great way to, way to um, stretch your papers and stretch strips that aren't quite able to go the length of your page. So these stickers that I've got in my hand, the yellow remark stickers, they were actually a pain to use. I don't know where I got them and they were horrible. So they were peely off stickers which I couldn't get off anyway and when I peeled them off they were almost a transparent sticker and I couldn't actually see them on the sheet of paper that I'd picked. It's got a little bit of a pattern in it and against the pattern it was almost, yeah, it was invisible. I couldn't see see it, but you saw me put it on that um, turquoisey paper. I just gave a test, and I could see it on that plain cardstock, but for whatever reason, I couldn't see it on that pattern paper. So I decided not to go with them anyway, because it would have taken me forever to pull them off and stick them down. So instead, I've gone with these um, thickers, which you have to be really careful getting off because a few of them I ripped in half because they were really stuck to the paper. So um, 
I'm not sure at this stage where I want to put the title and so I'm just fiddling around and leaving it there for now going to some of the elements of um, the project life cards that I had chosen previously and seeing if there's anything that I can cut out so that little I love um, piece there was what I cut out of a card in previous in a previous layout and couldn't make it work um, but in this layout I could as there's a quite a little uh, bit of cream and white elements going on so it didn't look out of place so um, just fiddling around now no don't quite like it up the top but I think I'll leave it there for a bit anyway know that I would like to introduce some of that yellow up the top as well as the photo and the other elements were blending in too much to the page so helping with that um, helping that not to blend in and helping the layout to stand out more I've put that yellow behind so lots of fussing around here it's not where I'm going to leave anything you know it looks too heavy at the top and maybe I'll move that to the side yep that's where I leave it so that little title says surrounded by the ones I love united so united in a cause as the photo is of our um, youth group and the youth leaders offer a youth alive conference in Perth and having a blast so they're all there together for the same cause and <coughs> united together so I thought that was an appropriate title and yeah so now I'm sticking down so I'll try not to stick all the pages together on the bits that shouldn't be stuck together and sticking the photo mat down fussing around I don't know why I fuss with all the bits like I haven't even stuck them yet but I'm making sure that everything's right perfectly where I want it to go when I watch the videos it actually looks frustrating <laughs> it's like just put the piece down and just leave it but that's what I do and I'm probably talking to my daughter at the time I'm probably distracted having a chat with my family while I'm doing this who pop in and visit me and um, so talking and playing as well so here I am adding these little feather elements again so they were the ones that I stamped with a close to my heart stamp and I used them for another project and had you know quite a few left over so I've been using them on all of my layouts which adds a nice little element so that has brought some of that navy blue from the background into the front of the photo into the foreground and so it's also added some of the navy blue to the top right and carried that to the bottom left as well to make it a balanced page so there I've just added a little sticker from October after October afternoon and another little cut apart that I'm not sure where that is from that was one that has been in my stash for a while and I have just cut um, the stickers in half so that I can use them on both the top and the bottom so that's another good way to stretch your stash um, if you're not going to see the whole sticker if it's just a little bit poking out you may as well cut it in half and do it that way so there I was I think checking the time seeing what time it was as I needed to go and pick my son up from school it was my day off today so making sure that I don't forget him not that I would forget him but you know you just want to make sure that I'm not running late and give myself plenty of time to leave okay so now they're the little flag elements that I cut out before and helping just to um, tie some of that background paper in as well 
making it look like a little banner that goes across the page. Across the little title card and perhaps behind a photo and poking out the other side. So there's that little card that I cut from the top and making that little cluster work at the bottom. This is the part I love um, the best in making the layout is um, the design at the end working out all the little places that need something and adding a little bit extras and trying to work out when enough is enough. That is a hard thing for all of us. Well, maybe not all of us, <coughs> but a lot of us scrapbookers not knowing where to stop. I think it's a fine balance between adding enough and having the page not look too blank and adding way too much but you know we all live and we learn and we all like different things so my motto is if it makes you happy and you like it then commit to it and just do it and you know enjoy what you do have fun and don't stress and fuss too much so here I am not stressing and not fussing too much. Moving the title around. I just wanted it to not be balanced and not even. So I wanted the um, United to end after the little I love you or I love surrounded by the ones I love little card. So just scooted that over to the right a bit. And here I am with another little sticker that I want to try and put. Yep, and I left it there to the right. So trying to use my little sticker sheets. I have lots of um, sticker sheets that I've used the majority of them. And, you know, I still have one or two left. So try to use them when I can. So that little sticker there that I just put um, near the United was a little sticker that said YOLO. That was a little one from the Heidi Swap collection. There you only live... You only live once, so do your best job, have fun, enjoy life, and have a ball while, you ha while you're doing it. Okay, so I'm thinking that I'd like to add that little Friday, but I don't use it. Checking out the sticker sheets now. No, nah, nothing's grabbing my fancy. Actually, the one little sticker there, unforgettable. Because it was a great um, week that the kids had. And you don't want to forget those moments. So, unforgettable there. <clears throat> and I grab another little um, chipboard heart. And I add it where the little... Love heart is at the moment that sit next to the United, and I actually move it around. I move that little heart to the right and put the chipboard one in the place there, and that just brings a little bit of um, dimension to that side of the page. As there was a little bit of dimension to the right, but not really much on the left, so that's added a little bit more. And then I decide to pop that up on a foam dot anyway, a little bit of foam foam tape. <coughs> So that's what I'm doing now. And then it looks like it's just about done. I think I've got to glue down that selfie sticker there near the camera. Yep, pick that up, glue, glue that down. And then I reach for my Indian ink. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for all your kind words. And I hope you stop by again, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.